so we will discuss about the s attributed and the l attributed uh, sdts in here sdt means the syntax selector transition so what happens in the s attributed uh, sdt it is also called the synthesized uh, uh, sdt it takes the uh, synthesized attribute it means the uh, parent takes the value from the children okay so for the, the production of kind a produces x y z the a takes the values from x y and z in this kind of the attribute of the s attributed uh, sdt the semantic rules are placed at the end of the production so till now whatever the example we have taken uh, the at the semantic action is placed at the end of the production only this so since the production uh, semantic rules are applied at the last we are saying that this is post fix sdt also the uh, values or the or the attributes of the left hand side are evaluated while doing the bottom up parsing okay in the bottom up parsing when we are reducing the uh, reducing according to some production rule of the grammar so uh, then only the attributes are set so in the bottom up parsing we are applying this attributes or if we evaluate the attributes during that time the l attributed attribute is uh, uh, a bit more powerful than the s attributed uh, it is also called the inherited uh, uh, attributes in inherited attributed uh, syntax directed translation in which uh, if we have a production of kind a produces x y z then a that is the parent may take the value from the children okay and the children also may take the values from the other children means the sibling but the left sibling only it means that x may take the value from a y may take the value from x z may take the value of from y so it is allowed that uh, the uh, the children may take the values from the parent i or they may take the values from the left child fine and here the semantic action can be placed anywhere okay the semantic uh, rules can be applied or semantic action can be placed anywhere it means we if we have a production of kind a produces bc the semantic rule can be placed here at the very beginning or the semantic rule may be placed in between or the semantic rules may be placed at the end the semantic rule may be placed at any place on the right hand side fine and attributes are evaluated by traversing the tree depth first left to right so we are going from left to right and then depth first first the depth is completed and then we are going for the right we already have said that the l attributed uh, uh, sdt is more powerful than the s attributed sdt so once again let's see the uh, s synthesized attribute in the synthesized attribute if it takes the attribute from its children it is called the synthesized attribute it means the value of a is assigned according to the values of b c d it means the attribute of a is set as the function of b c and d so a dot s means the attribute of a is equals to function of attribute of p and attribute of c and attribute of d fine now if a, if a node takes attributes from its parent or sibling it is called the inherited attribute for example a produces b c d so c dot i is equals to a dot i it means it is taking from the parent c dot i is equals to b dot i it means uh, b is taking the value from its sibling okay and then d is taking the value from its sibling so this is the inherited attribute okay now uh, if you see this diagram it is saying that l attributed is a bigger class and s attributed sdt is actually a subset of this fine so if an s if an sdt is s attributed it is definitely l attributed fine so this this is a bigger class the l1 l attributed uh, 
attribute is a bigger class and synthesize attribute is a smaller class that will be a subset of this entire class so if if a stt is as, as attributed it has to be l attributed also thank you